Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. Now, dipping your own wheels is a very do-it-yourself friendly project. It's easy to do. It's a great way to give your vehicle a brand new look without breaking the bank or investing too much money. And of course, it's removable, so you can peel the dip off your wheels and go back to the stock look or stock finish whenever you're ready to. So today, I'm going to show you everything you need to get a proper wheel dip job done and I'm gonna walk you through the process step by step. Now, if you've never dipped your own wheels before, this is a perfect tutorial to take you through the process from A to Z. If you've done it before in the past, you may learn a new trick or two because the process has evolved over the past three years. So this might be a good refresher course. So let me take you through the steps. Hope you guys enjoy the project. Now, the first thing you wanna do is identify what you need to get the job done right. Now, behind me, we have the DYC S4 in nebula yellow and it's got stock aluminum wheels on the car right now we want to go with something a little bit darker a little bit stealthier to, to match the aggressive nature of the car so we've got two different wheel kits at dipyourcar.com we've got the standard wheel kit and then we've got the wheel kit plus the standard wheel kit right here is going to have just the assorted plasti dip products that you're going to need to get the job done so for example we're going to be using a new product today the graphite metalizer from PlastiDip. So here I have a standard metalizer wheel kit, which comes with four cans of black PlastiDip spray for my base. Then we've got three cans of the graphite metalizer to go on top to give us that really dark uh, metallic looking finish. That's your standard wheel kit. Now the wheel kit plus is gonna include everything that you see here as well. The pre-dip spray, the dip release, the brake masking bags, and the microfiber towel. So the best case scenario is you go on to dipyourcar.com, you select the wheel kit plus, and it's literally going to have everything that you need to get the job done from A to Z. So you won't be left out in the cold, you have everything on hand. And what I'm gonna do is walk you through the entire process so you can see what role each one of these pieces plays in the project. So let's get started. All right guys, we got you in nice and close so you can see what we're working on here. And basically, we got to remember that 99% of our customers are just going to be focusing on and dipping the front face of the wheel here. We're not going to be dipping the inside barrel. We're going to be masking off the rotors and the calipers, make sure they're nice and protected from any overspray. And we're just going to get the front face of the wheel done. It makes it a very easy and very turnkey project for most users. Now, if you're one of those people who wants to take the wheels off the car and dip them off the car, by all means, you can go that route, but what we do at Dip Your Car and what the majority of our customers do is leave the wheels on the car and get the job done right here. So we're gonna first, before we clean the wheel or anything, we're gonna mask off the brake mechanisms back there. So we're gonna take the brake masking bags that come in the uh, wheel kit plus, we're gonna open the bag up, and what we wanna do is get one nice big sheet of plastic here. So we're just gonna rip it down the side, all the way down lengthwise. And then we're gonna to get to the closed end and tear open the closed end. And what we wanna end up with is one big open sheet of plastic like this. And then what you're gonna do is bunch it up together and you're gonna start feeding it through the spokes of the wheel in an effort to get all the way around. Once you've guided all the way around, then you want to start opening it up because you really want to make sure you cover the rotors and the calipers all the way around. And take your time. There's no reason to rush this. And once you get it completely all the way around and nice and secure, you can kind of just tuck it back there. The next thing you want to do is work your way around and make sure that the plastic isn't touching behind the spokes at all. Because if it's touching behind the spokes, once the plastic dip dries there, it can actually kind of stick to the plastic in the back and we don't want anything to ruin the finish. So once we get each bag situated here, and we're gonna do this all the way around the car, then we're gonna come in and get to the next step. Now, the next step is to protect and prep the outside rubber, the tire, around the outside of the wheel. Now, we obviously don't want any plastic dip or overspray left on the rubber when we're done with our project. Now I've seen a lot of different ways to mask or prep the outside of the tire. And I've tried a bunch of these as well. Some people will take blue painter's tape and painstakingly tape the tire all the way around the outside. I've seen people take index cards or playing cards and jam them in this little crack 
all the way around the wheel, all the way around the car on each wheel. Uh, what we're going to do today is use essentially the easiest method to protect the, the tire here. And we're going to use a product called Dip Release. It's included in every single Wheel Kit Plus. And you can think of it almost like a dip safe tire shine type material. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the microfiber towel that's included in the Wheel Kit Plus. And what I like to do is just cut a small square of it off using scissors. This is really the only uh, the, the size that you need to get this part of the job done. We're going to shake up the dip release. We're going to apply a little bit to the towel. And you're going to very carefully now apply this dip release to the tire sidewall all the way around the tire. Now when I say very carefully, that's because you really don't want to get it on the edge of this wheel. And then what the dip release is going to do is exactly what it says. It's going to make the, the dip release off the sidewall of the tire very easily. So when we're done with our project, we've got four or five or six coats of overspray on the sidewall, it's going to pop right off super easy. And we don't want it to stop the uh, dip's ability to bond around the edge of the wheel. So we're going to apply it very carefully all the way around. And we're going to make sure that any of the lines or any of the writing in the sidewall of the tire gets saturated really well. So we're going to work the towel around in a bunch of different directions to get that done. Now you only need a little bit at a time. This is a two ounce bottle and it's more than, uh, more than enough to get the job done. All right, we've got the dip release carefully applied to every single tire all the way back about, you know, I usually go about an inch back to where the tread is and all the way up to the edge. Now it's very, very important to make sure that the wheel is cleaned and dry perfectly. Make sure that you don't use the same rag that you use for the dip release on when, you know, when you're going to clean the wheel. You definitely don't want that. That's why I usually cut that corner out of my microfiber because I just use the rest of that to clean the wheel. So I spray the pre-dip spray directly onto the microfiber towel and then I go around and I work it into every single corner and angle of the wheel very, very carefully. And what the pre-dip spray is going to do is it's going to perfectly remove any oil, grease, grime, contaminant, whatever that could be on the wheel that could either cause some texture, some debris, or it can stop the dip from properly adhering to the wheel. So we're just going to carefully spray it right onto the towel and work all the way around. And what I like to do, don't just start wiping the wheel all over the place. Pick one section at a time and just make sure you get every square inch of that section before you move on to the next one. And I really like to spray it onto the towel versus spraying it directly onto the wheel because if you spray it directly onto the wheel, you can oversaturate the wheel and then it can take even longer to dry. And this, this wheel has to be bone dry to make sure we get the, the job done properly. Now when I'm done cleaning the face of the wheel, I always like to double back, put just a little bit of pre-dip on the edge of the microfiber and then focus just on that edge of the wheel because if I did get any of that dip release on the edge of the wheel I need to make sure I get it off because just how, like how the dip release is going to make the dip pop off the tire very easily it would do the same on the wheel so the last thing I do before I start spraying is double check the edge of every wheel one last time all right we've got our wheel clean it's dry the brakes are masked off the tire is prepped we're ready to start spraying so I'm going to start putting my coats of black down first. The first three or four coats are going to be our black base for the metalizer here. And what we want to do, obviously, we're spraying indoors, so I've got my respirator here. You can get these at Dip Your Car if you don't have one already. And my first coat is going to be a nice light tack coat. And one thing you're going to notice is after every single coat, including the first, my last step is going to be to put one thick coat around the tire wall before I walk away after each coat. That's going to make very sure that when I'm completely done with the project, I'll have a nice thick area of dip to peel off in one beautiful ribbon all the way around. So we're going to get the, the respirator on and start putting our coats on. Okay, our first tack coat is dry. What we're gonna do is move on to 
to our next two, three, four coats. And what you're going to see is me apply that product a little bit heavier. What we want to try to do is achieve a wet, solid coat each time so that it's going to dry in a nice, smooth, solid finish. And what you're going to try to do is focus on each corner and each edge. Just like we focused on one area when we clean the wheel, we're going to do the same thing when we spray the wheel. Focus on one area all the way around and work yourself around until the wheel is completely covered. Now at this point, we have four coats of black Plasti Dip down on the wheel as our base. And you might notice that the wheel is in a bit of a different orientation than it was during the last clip. And the reason for that is because between the third and fourth coat, what I like to do is move the car forward or backwards, wherever you have some space, so that the wheel will rotate a bit for you. That way, any of the, the inside of the spokes that you may not have gotten 100% coverage on, you'll get a better angle at them after you rotate the wheel. So we've got our four coats of black down. I'm ready to apply our graphite metalizer now as our top coat. We're gonna probably need anywhere between two to three coats of this. So we're gonna take it coat by coat. All right, we've got two coats of the graphite metalizer on each one of the wheels now. We've given it about 25 minutes for them to completely dry, and we are ready to break this down. So what we're going to do is we're going to first remove the brake masking bags. So you're just going to kind of give it a couple tugs in a couple different areas, just to make sure it's not sticking to the back of the wheel anywhere. And then you're going to pick one spot and start threading the bag out through that one spot. Make sure that you're not letting it ride too hard on the back edge of that spoke there. We don't want to roll that spoke or that edge up. And now everything behind it is perfectly masked and clean. And now what we're going to do is remove the uh, overspray along the tires from where the dip release was. And what you're going to do is just kind of pick one area, start working with your finger, lift it up, and then the dip release is going to do exactly what it was supposed to do. It's going to allow you to remove all the overspray. Take a microfiber, give the tire a nice little rub and it'll all fly right off. Now the graphite metalizer has given our wheels a nice, beautiful, dark, metallic finish. And because the metalizers are made in a gloss-based product, there's no need for a, t a gloss top coat unless you want to go for a super high gloss finish. You want to give your wheels about 25 to 30 minutes before you go ahead and start driving the car again just to make sure the dip is fully cured. We used four coats of black and two coats of graphite metalizer as our top coat. Regardless of what color you use, you want to have a minimum of five or six coats on your wheels at all times. All right, guys, I hope that you're ready to dip your own wheels now. It's a fast and easy project for you guys to do, and it completely changes the look of your car. And remember, if you ever want to go back to the stock finish or even change to another color, you can always peel the plastic dip off and get right back to where you were. And it's very durable on your wheels as well. As long as you apply it properly, it's easy to clean, easy to maintain. You should get well over a year or two out of each application and there are dozens and dozens of color combinations of these wheel kits at dipyourcar.com from simple solid colors to loud bold colors metallic finishes uh, chameleon color changing colors everything's there for you and if you have any questions about how much product you need what you need or even if you just want to chat with somebody and say hey what color wheels do you think i should do on my car email customer service at dipyourcar.com or even call in during business hours. There'll be somebody there to talk through the entire process with you 
from A to Z. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Fonzie. I'll see you on the next one.